Hey guys, it's Cash, the Super Empath, and today I'm going to be talking about what happens when the Super Empath finally leaves the narcissist. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, and I do apologize for that, but it's mainly because, you know, I've kind of moved past this. I'm, like, at a good stage in my life, you know, where I just don't really want to talk about it anymore. But at the same time, I feel like this happened to me for a reason, um, for me to educate other people about, um, you know, what narcissistic abuse is, what actually happens, and just to make people feel like that they're not alone. Because it sucks. Like, I was there, and I know what it feels like to feel like you don't have anyone to, like, talk to about the psychological aspect of what's happening to you. You know, so with that said, uh, when the super empath finally leaves the narcissist, I am going to tell you what I did, what you actually really should do, and how you can fix the frequency issue that you most likely have after leaving the narcissist. So what did Cash do? I got a really nice apartment. It was a loft in Miami, which is probably the best place that an empath can be set free in, you know, the best environment. Um, and I went a little crazy, you know. I'm not going to sit here and say I was an angel when I, you know, got away. Because uh, I wasn't, you know. Uh, I went hard in the paint for about a year. And I, while I should have been dealing with all the things that happened to me while I was in the relationship with the narcissist. I didn't. I was partying, you know, I was trying to meet different people. I was going on dates when I should have been healing from what had happened to me. You know, did I have a great time? Absolutely. It was probably one of the best years of my life, you know, and, and that's how I know that there's a God because I didn't end up in jail and I'm still here to talk about it. So, but the narcissist was not happy with me being happy going out, you know. Um, he came to my house a couple times to like, you know, hang a TV on a wall or put some pictures up for me and he's like, I've never seen you this happy, you know. Well, because you were the source of my unhappiness and we're you're not together. We are here right now because I'm an idiot. But once I separated myself from the narcissist, I knew that I made the right decision. And the narcissist, if someone comes to you and is not, after you break up, and is not happy to see you happy afterwards, that is not a good person for you. That is a huge red flag that is not somebody you want to be dealing with. So after um, I went through my whole crazy phase, I realized that I had some work to do, you know, and a year later, I had to deal with all these problems on top of other things that had accumulated so don't do that don't talk to the narcissist when you leave okay that's rule number one and don't pretend like nothing happened to you and you're okay because chances are you're not okay because the narcissist number one goal in being with an empath, you know, whether it's it's conscious or subconscious, is to bring us down to their level, to their frequency level. Narcissists are very low frequency people. So they'll just chip away, chip away, chip away until we are finally at the level that they're at. Now, how you get back up, how you raise your frequency is you have to find people that are at your old frequency that are on a higher frequency and that is very hard to do when you are at a low frequency because when you're at a low frequency all you're attracting is low frequency people so it's kind of like you know and I know how I felt I was like man is everybody the same like why can't I just like find like good people good energy you know and finally I did, and those are the people that you want to stick with. Those are the people that are going to help you raise your frequency. But as you're trying to raise your frequency, I will warn you, there will be people that are just going to throw stones and try to keep you down because they do not want to see you rise back up to where you are. And we call those flying monkeys. Um, I'll do another video on that another day. That's a whole thing in and of itself. But... Yeah, um, afterwards, 
just make sure that you do take the time to process everything because it, it's it's a lot especially if it's very covert and psychological like it, you're definitely going to feel some after effects from it after you move out and separate yourself so rule number one do not speak to the narcissist after you leave go completely no contact even if you need a freaking shelf hung up do that shit yourself okay learn how to change your own tire be independent do not call the narcissist that's rule number one rule number two do not party okay deal with your emotions deal with the stuff right then and there don't wait a year to deal with it okay so that is all i have to say protect your energy and god bless